Hi guys, well, <laughs> I wish I could tell you exactly what's going on, but it gets a little bit confusing, but I'm still testing some, it's hard to explain, but it's something that connects two different internet connections together to give you much stronger signal. And it looks like I'm still having an issue with it. It's something that kind of happened that last time at the character warehouse where we completely lost. Let me turn the camera around so I can see you guys. Hey, our girl, sorry about that. Um, I was trying to explain, and some of you guys hopefully will be able to come over from the other stream. I feel bad. We totally dropped that one, lost that one. But I've been testing something new that connects to, well, not something new, something new to me, where it connects two internet signals together to give you a much better stream signal. Um, and I lost it again inside the gift shop. And it's something that really kind of happened over at uh, Disney Character Warehouse a couple of nights ago. So I've turned that feature off for right now. So. Let's just see what happens, because I want to go ride some rides. Um, let's see, who do we have here in the comments? Amy Truck, yes, I'm back. I apologize, we lost the other stream, completely died. Um, still working on something that's not working correctly. <laughs> Let me say that so much. So either way, let's try to run the stream like this for a little while. It may be a little more reliable. So fingers crossed that happens. Um, I did finish up inside the store. Amy and Truck, I just want to let you know, I did get your Simba. I did get that, so that's why I was off camera for a second. I didn't want to set up this new stream until I got outside where I know we have a decent or much better connection. So let's go ride the safari. How does that sound? Hi, Kathy. I'm back. So I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, let's go do some safari. It'll be fun. Oh, there we go. All right. Hey, Mo. How are you? Mo513. I appreciate you guys' patience. I actually, um, I'll just let you guys know because y'all are so good to us all the time. I want to share everything with y'all. I'll be in conversation tomorrow with someone that's going to try to help me uh, figure out what I can do out here to get really a superior, good, good, good um, uh, internet connection. That's the key out here at Disney. It's so hard because you have so many people that are drawing on the internet at the same time. Um, it's a technical discussion, but okay, here we go. Strollers keep this way. Okay. Um, it's kind of a technical discussion I don't mind having, but basically what happens is, um, imagine like you have your Verizon cell phone signals, you have your at and signals, T-Mobile signals. People, uh, try, do we, do we leave the strollers out here or we go inside with them? Yeah, just, they just said wait here? Okay. Cool. Actually, it looks like maybe they're taking the strollers in. Did the strollers go in? Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, I like that. Thank you. Appreciate that. I had no idea that the strollers can just go on in. Anyway, so what happens is, first of all, when you're trying to live stream or upload via like data, like cellular data, it requires the most bandwidth, right? And so what people do is they use these different programs to combine AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, Wi-Fi, whatever, to make one unified ultra like ultra band, super powerful uh, stream. And the program that I'm using for that, it sometimes it's working and then it just, it dies. And when it dies, I'm losing my streams completely. So I want to be able to bring to you guys super sharp, nice 1080p quality video from here. And um, I just haven't quite nailed the technology I need for it yet. So yeah, this week I'll be just talking to someone that that's what they specialize in and hopefully they'll be able to guide me in the right direction and possibly set me up with the right um, the right pieces of technology I need to achieve that perfect bonding of AT&T and Verizon and Wi-Fi and so forth. So anyway, long story short, I just wanted to explain that to you guys. So that's what I've been working on. And part of coming out here to Animal Kingdom today is I wanted to test it again today. And basically I had the same problem I had at the Character Warehouse a few nights ago. And now I know basically that's an unreliable way to connect these two signals because once the, one of the signals is dropping it just totally is killing the live stream completely and i apologize for that that's why i had to relaunch on a totally new stream but you know if you guys stick it out with us we're working out the kinks and i really really appreciate that and so does Susanna. so anyway on to the ride we are in line for the safari and i am super excited to ride the safari i haven't ridden it really no i haven't ridden it since the parks were open i'm just sitting here thinking now yeah. We've actually probably spent, I would say, the least amount of time at Animal Kingdom since the parks have reopened. 
And I don't really have a good answer for why, because we love Animal Kingdom. And it's actually the closest theme park to our house. So, we're in the queue for it now. Shouldn't be too long. And then after we finish on the safari, we will head back, I promise, and look at more merchandise. And hopefully, we'll maintain this signal, because I'm just using a single band of data. Um, I'm using Verizon. I'll tell you right now what I'm on. I'm using Verizon data. So as long as Verizon can pump something out for you guys, I would almost rather just a continuous stream that doesn't um, shut off like it just did a little while ago. So it's blurry, honey. I know. Well, that's because we're not bonding now. We're only on one. We're only on one signal at the moment. So we're going to figure this out. We'll learn. It's a learning curve. Okay, well, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Uh -huh. There's some really cool technology out there to overcome some of these issues. But I would say Disney is probably one of the hardest places because so many people are streaming to Instagram or TikTok or Facebook or YouTube. And it's all shared data. Everyone is sharing it. So. The audio is good. Well, you know, honey, that's great. That's just <laughs> that's a good step just to have some solid audio. So I'll take that. All righty, let me get my uh, my bag here. We've temporarily stopped, guys, just for one second while I get my stuff. And we continue on in the queue for the ride, for the safari. So I just need to get my bag to carry with me. Okay. Don't want to leave that one in there. Grab this. Is it okay here? Here we go. Hey, hello! If you are traveling with a stroller, please have children and animals unloaded before you reach our stroller parking area. If you are traveling with someone in a scooter or wheelchair, All right, let's see if we let's see if we have a little bit of a better connection this time. All right, guys, Fingers if crossed. you don't know the people in the row in front of you, wait on the dock behind the yellow line. You'll be on the next track. Alrighty, guys. Well, we're about to get on the safari. I hope we have a little bit of a better signal. I switched connections. Yay! We're back. Let's see if we have a better connection now. I just got off Horizon. We're now back on AT&T. <laughs> Hopefully AT&T will do the job. Let's see. I'm actually doing the job of with the programmer that I have, which is supposed to switch between AT&T and Verizon. I'm doing it manually myself. So let's see how this works. Fingers crossed. So if y'all can hear me right now, welcome back. And you guys are back just in time because we're about to board the safari. And it looks like I'm going to have a NC, so we should get a pretty good view. I'm excited. Let's go see some animals. And I will say again, guys, I appreciate all of your patience. I love these trucks. Aren't they cool? Is it very good? Okay, good. Well, we're on um, we're on AT&T, so AT&T, the official sponsor of a Wi-Fi service for Walt Disney World. <laughs> that is not a joke. That's actually true. AT&T is the sponsor, so maybe they're cutting Verizon down right now. Disney's turning off Verizon in favor of AT&T. So let's see how the AT&T signal does. Fingers crossed, it keeps up. We're gonna find out. 
We're testing AT&T in the Safari. Here we go. If you guys have AT&T, cell phone service at home, give me a big old thumbs up. Come on. <laughs> no, I want to say, guys, thanks a lot again for your patience working with us as we uh, get these stream qualities better and better and better. And I think a lot of it, I was telling Susanna last night, it's just experimenting. It's about going into the parks, testing the services in the different areas of the parks, and of course, going into the gift shops, which is most important to us, and uh, making sure we get signals in there. So let's try running AT&T for the meantime. Let's see if we do better. Honey says, Susanna says, so far, so good. Let me read some comments while we're sitting here. Uh, Thanks, Rosarni. Good day, everybody. That'd be very good, very sharp. Yay! All right, here we go. Hi, everyone. Honey. Woo! Woo! Guys, the Enjoy the ride, guys. While we're out there, it's really important everybody stays seated at all times. Keep it all hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle. And uh, please, for all my guests back there, keep your face covering all the way on throughout the entire safari. What you do with them when you get off the truck is totally up to you. That's 100% your business. But while you're here, folks, you need to stay seated at all times. You cannot be switching around. You just stay seated. The seat you have now is when you need to keep putting your face coverings. If you're not up here in this box, where I am, I'm going to need to stay on. Now, uh, get going here in just a second. Please try to keep volume levels to a minimum and make sure we're not reaching out or calling out to animals as well. We don't want to disturb them, but we are going to be the guests in their homes. Now, we're headed into the little Aturi forest, and the animals that live in the Aturi are locked up. Very few places on earth, like the old copy on the hill to the right. Now, a lot of people can use old copies. Tend to be relatives of zebras because of those party pants, but they are the only known living relative of giraffes. So that's just where we're at. Prehensile. Sorry, sorry about that point. Second on the left hand side, the tallest flying bird. Look at the bird. The bird storks at about five feet tall. We spend them around nine. That's comparable to that canopy above your head. There's a second one to the right. Now, prehensile means the Okapi's tongue works like a finger and they use it to grab leaves off of bushes and trees. Now, of course, Okapi's don't have any fingers of their own like you and I do, but they do have eyes that sometimes get stuck, stuck in those eyes. Any idea how they're going to get it out? <laughs> Probably with that tongue, right? Yeah, so long they can lick their own eyeballs. About 14 inches. Well, other than that, it's looking pretty quiet around here. Make sure we're really, really looking at these bushes and trees, also behind rocks and logs. Anywhere these animals can be hiding, you're probably hidden there before, and they're gonna do it again. In fact, up ahead on the left hand side, I see some movement. So we're gonna try to swing around and figure out exactly what's going on up there, but uh, I have a pretty good feeling about that. To our left hand side, there's a beautiful black ground away. Oh, look top. down here, guys. Just this gorgeous orange and here called a bongo. Ooh. This is a bongo. Are critically endangered, nicknamed the Ooh. ghost of the forest because they're so reclusive, they are rare to see. Now, black ground is one of the smaller ground, it's only oh, weigh about 3,000 pounds, just like the old copies took. Check out the rhino, guys. And the bongos. We have two of those. Very cool. Black rhino species have been close to their horns made of something called keratin, which some folks believe to have medicinal properties, but it doesn't. It's the same stuff in our fingernails and hair and has no significance in medicine whatsoever. Now, we are going to head out of the Atari, and the bongos are not the only critically dangerous animals we just talked about. They're already struggling, and a big issue they face is the mining of a mineral called Coltan. It's also mined in the African savannah for useful electronics like your cameras and cell phones. And those mines result in habitat loss and pollution, of course, but they also impact the communities around them. So a great way to help animals and people is by recycling your electronics. It's really easy and it's free at many electronic stores. Now, folks, here in the Safi River Valley, we should uh, you know, look out for animals that do prefer a more aquatic environment. So hopefully we'll get to see and talk about animals like uh, Nile hippos, Sun coming up on the left hand side. Oh, look at the birds. Birds and I'll track it out. We're going to kick it off with the large gray and white birds on the left hand side. These are pink backed pelicans. Is their name? Pink backed pelicans. During their mating season, it gets to be bright. Aren't those pretty? Not oh my gosh. Blush. Look at that. A little bit further along is that Nile hippo in the water. Looks like there's another one on the surface behind me. Oh, uh, look at the hippos Nile swimming. Hippos are the larger of the two Ooh, hippos species. Right about Nile hippos. Oh my gosh, look at that. They're very cool. It's one of the most dangerous animals in the world. Too. A lot of those run at night when they leave their water. Wow. 
traveling up to 10 miles. this one. Oh, wow. Oh, they're not happy. Folks, well, we're coming up on this bridge here. Look at Just these. Just a reminder to remain seated. We're going to go nice and slow across this bridge. And if you cross the left hand side, they're the crocodiles. Look at the crocodiles. Now, crocodiles Ooh. are the largest of the African wow, crocodile species. Huge. They average in length at about 16 Look at feet that. and weight of about 500 pounds. Oh my gosh. The is I've gotten used to some reptiles in Florida, but nothing like that. I don't want to find that in my front yard. Does anyone know what they're for? No, they help them to warm up. So, crocodiles are something called ectotherms. They're ectothermic, meaning they rely on external sources of heat. Warm. There's a couple so in one in the water. Now, folks, we are uh, heading over towards the savanna, and it's a much different ecosystem than anywhere we've been today. It has a higher tree canopy, wide open spaces, and a big reason it looks the way it does are the keystone species that call it home. Now, keystones are animals that shape and maintain the ecosystem they live in. And here on our little reserve, we get the privilege of highlighting two different animals as keystones of the savanna. The first one we're going to talk about is actually going to be giraffes. Now. We're going to pull up in just a little bit start to look out into the plains and whether or not we see some, we'll still be able to tell that they're close by because as soon as we get to move up a little bit more, we're going to start to see that the trees out there in the savanna, their tops sort of start around the same height and that's no coincidence because the giraffes will prune those trees, meaning that they eat the leaves lower down in those canopies and over time the trees learn not to grow their leaves where giraffes can reach them. So they start growing them higher up the stick, creating a taller and thicker canopy that we'll have all around us. Helps out the smaller grazing animals a whole bunch by letting more sunlight down to the ground that helps the grass to grow better and gives them more food to eat. Now the giraffes don't just prune the trees, but they pollinate them as well. They are the world's largest pollinators and they pollinate completely by accident, moving tree to tree every couple minutes for up to 22 hours a day each time taking a face full of pollen with them. It rubs off in the canopy of every tree they go to and that's how they pollinate. A lot of benefits for plants when they're being pollinated. We'll talk about that more later on. And just to be completely transparent with y'all, we are sitting in a little bit of a giraffe jam. That's a okay. <laughs> Guys, come on, I really stuck my neck out. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But as some uh, room clears up ahead, of course, we'll move along with it. I appreciate everybody's patience to work our way into this gorgeous part of the reserve. Now, I still don't see any giraffes yet, but hopefully we will soon. And if we do, they will be Maasai giraffes. Historically, the Maasai giraffe has been found all over the African continent. They're only in four or five of the eastern African countries, including Kenya and Tanzania, facing many issues. Just habitat loss from human activity. Very good. Glad you guys are getting a good shot. Because it's gorgeous out here. Forms of development. They're also poached pretty heavily for their pelts and meats. Now, the actual number of giraffe species is actually being debated. It's between three and seven, and the actual number of species doesn't really matter too much to me right now because overall there are fewer than 100,000 giraffes in the entire African continent. That's not nearly enough. They've actually gone extinct from several African countries and really continue to struggle today. Now, the savanna itself is very delicately balanced and all of her residents are doing awesome. Well. So Amy and Chuck. Major player excellent, here, excellent, excellent. Like a giraffe. This place will fall apart. It may even cease to exist altogether. And that's why it's so important to protect the giraffes. By doing that, we help out everyone else around us because they're not just a keystone species. They're also something called an umbrella species. Now, these are animals that have been identified by conservationists as the ones to focus on because there are millions of different species that are endangered at some level, and that's way too much to focus on each individual one. So by helping the umbrellas, the animals that help out the other animals, uh, it, you know, it's doing 12, 15, 20 jobs all at once. And then once they're okay, you start to focus on the other ones underneath their umbrella. The folks, keep your eyes on the left hand side, right around this little tree here in that yard. Uh, there's some kind of you know, brown, white, yellow poking out. Those are painted dogs. Now, painted dogs are also known as African wild dogs. And mm. Painted wolves. Painted they're dogs. They're more than a cute face. One of the most successful predators in the world. Some packs have succeeded on over 80% of their hosts. Looks like hyenas or something. More successful than lions. Because they have great endurance and communication skills. They're very packed, mind, and work well together as a team. Now, they are fascinating animals who are also critically 
Infinity I'm going to talk about their conservation more in just a moment. But coming up here on the left hand side, we're going to see two different kinds of antelopes. The dark brown one that will be all the way in the back, and just when we pass this bush are sable antelopes, the emblems of the Harambe Wildlife Preserve. That's one of the only antelopes on earth that will actually stand their ground and fight back against predators using their backwards facing horns. Now, a little bit later on, these white bearded wildebeest, they're one of the most densely populated animals. Uh, in the world, every year they get together in a group of about one and a half million for the Great Migration, where they run 500 to 1,000 miles together in search of food and water. It's actually so large scale it can be seen from space. Now, folks, enjoy uh, just this beautiful scenery around us. Well, I'll talk some more about the painted dogs. So, about 100 years ago, there were nearly a half million painted dogs in the wild. Today, there's only about 7,000 left, and one of the biggest issues they're facing is called population fragmentation. That means that they don't have a continuous range in the wild. They're kind of scattered throughout the African continent, really small groups, too far apart to interact with each other. And what that does is it makes certain things like maintaining their genetic diversity very difficult. And actually with every new generation of painted dog pup we're seeing, there are also many more issues along the lines of birth defects and other genetic problems. But there is great work going into resolving that. And uh, a lot of what that looks like is actually Forest forming new packs of painted dogs. One of the rarest things in nature you can witness, but it's what needs to happen if the painted dogs are to make a comeback. So there are these incredible. You know, it might be because it's just so hot right now that a lot of the animals are indoors or something. I don't know. When they find them, they actually tranquilize them to make them safe to transport. It's a slow, relaxing ride through the safari. This is probably the slowest I've ever rolled through the safari. They pick the dogs up, rub them all together, really familiarize each other with their sink land. So when they wake up, they don't feel like they have to compete with each other for resources. You know when you're like walking around and you see someone and you're trying to figure out where you know them from? That's kind of what it's like for the dogs when they wake up after that happens. They're familiar with No, I'm kind of mid-car. So they get up and they're like, hey, I kind of know you, but I don't know. Oh, like the last, you, you can see our ridge is kind of backed up. All the little cars are backed up. As well. Eventually, they form their really, really tight bond as a pack. Now, uh, Porta Graha, it is brutally hot, but I tell you what, the sun actually is behind the cloud. We got a little cloud cover, so it's tolerable right now. But when I first got here, brutal, awful. And even though we're on, you know, even though we're outdoors, all attractions again require face cover, so I'm wearing a face cover. So just by recycling those electronics, you can help out a whole lot around here. We also have a few places in South America, like the Amazon and Orinoco River basins, where a lot of silver is mined because it's a great conductor of electricity used in those same products. Now folks, a little bit further along, we're going to see the unmistakable horns of some Ancoli cattle. These are going to be some of the largest Guys, if you're enjoying the stream, if you do a big favor, get a bit of thumbs up. I hate asking for it, but it's part of the YouTube algorithm deal. Helps us out in the algorithm. So if you're enjoying the video, give it a big old thumbs up. Let's YouTube know you're enjoying it. Maybe somebody else that likes Tuesday videos will enjoy it as well. It's really, really important. You know, it gets hot here on the reserve. We are going to see some giraffes in just a moment, too. But we've got one more animal to talk about before we get to the giraffe. No, don't want that. Now, thermoregulation is really important. No, no, no. It's hot here on the reserve. So we're still going to talk about it more throughout the rest of the safari. But also on the right-hand side, start to check out all the way up there at the top of the hill. See that big tree with the wildebeest around it? Just to its left is that little s'mores colored antelope there. That's a springbok. And they're one of the fastest animals on Earth. They're actually tied in fourth place with the wildebeest for the fastest laying out of the close. Antelopes run about 55 miles an hour. Now the springbok can go years and in extreme cases their entire lives without drinking a single drop of water because if they're doing it right, sorry, if they're doing it right, they'll get all the moisture they would possibly need from their diet every night. The dew points out its highest just before sunrise. And if that's when they're eating a lot of succulent plants, seeds, flowers, things that a lot of moisture in, they won't need to drink any water at all. Most going up on the left hand side is the Tower of Maasai giraffes. So we know they're Maasai because their patterns are jagged and are right here. On that oh wow, look at all of the giraffes. Check Anzi Give that one giraffe some privacy though. <laughs> is that uh, Dazzle of Hartnell Mountain Lion Safari. Now this is a really cool zebra. This is the only zebras on earth with an extra skin flap Ooh, on the bottom of their neck. Cool. It's called a zebra. <laughs> that's how they tend to regulate. Just like they pull these with their horns, so they push and blow through the glass to cool. Yeah. I remember when I called it a giraffic jam. Y'all wanna, y'all wanna guess why? Friendly reminder: if they come up to y'all, just to keep hands and arms inside <laughs> the vehicle, we hang out here till we uh, can move on. 
Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. Oh, okay, guys. I'm just going to call the warden and let him know that this giraffe is going to be on the second. <laughs> <laughs> the giraffe are just blocking the street. We can't go anyway. Marie is watching. Oh, my girl. Yeah, check this out, guys. What are those that are horned? But they're in the road now, too. Very cool. More giraffe. Zebras up there. You can see the zebras behind the grass. Looks like one's coming out. So, guys, I love giraffes. They're one of my all time favorite animals. I got to feed a giraffe uh, a couple weeks ago, and it was a giraffe. They're amazing. Uh, and I love being this close to them. It's wonderful. Let's see if we can make, uh, make up some space and keep moving. Along. I want to bring baby girl next time. Hi, Marie. Hi, baby Marie. Along, Baba loves you so much. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Six feet just also jump six to eight feet into the air from a standstill and even though they are the slowest antelope, they could still easily outrun any of us at about 25 miles an hour. Uh -huh. <laughs> Folks here at an elephant uh -huh. just passed a great example. Uh -huh. Elephants like that big guy to the right has keystones shaped the savanna. They knock down those trees to create paths, usually connected to a water. Well, that's the case with this one. Makes it easy for all sorts of animals like these terrestrial monkeys to the left hand side. Little monkeys. Oh, so good ones. Little gobbies. Little monkey gobbies. Mandals are another animal. There's a little baby over there. Oh, look at that's the really monkeys. impacted by that cold tan. It's a baby. Uh, the largest monkeys on earth. Males weigh about 100 pounds. Females are about a third the size between 30 and 35 pounds. All right. It's like we're moving again. Now, folks, uh, elephants also dig dry. Every time I come on the safari, I see when to go to Animal Kingdom Lodge and have dinner somewhere. I can't wait till Boma reopens. Or Jika. It's a very strong lifeline for all animals in the savanna. Predator and prey alike do use them, and it saves the lives of thousands of animals every single year. Now, folks, uh, I've talked about thermal regulation some, right? Talked about it with the crocs earlier, and coldies push a blow through their horns like the zebras with their do laughs. It's really important because it gets hot here, as I mentioned, and they all feel the heat like you and I do, so they all need their own ways to get back down. Anyone back there know how we thermal regulate? We're sweating, right? We're all doing it all day. The hippos are too. Well, the elephants <laughs> will flap their ears. That'll cool them down about 15 degrees, bringing a hot 90 degree day to a nice comfortable 75 degree day for them so you could say that they have really good built-in ear condition <laughs> wow. as elephants are extraordinarily intelligent animals are on the left hand side oh there's an elephant they have incredible memory that plays a really important role in their conservation now just a few years ago there were some kenyan farmers that were having an issue with elephants raiding their farm so they reached out to the disney conservation fund for some help and the dcf got some work that came through and they really kathy really animal kingdom was African really really cool i love animal kingdom African African it's a lot of fun honey bees now that's pretty far-fetched right like elephants are massive and bees are tiny and elephants are also pachyderms they have really thick skin so it shouldn't matter if they're them. yeah now, their skin much like ours would be very sensitive they don't like the buzzing sound of bees make. they also don't like to be stung when those two things happen together they get scared now there's the same an elephant never forgets so their memories are so good when they go into an area and they find something that they don't like such as those bees they're going to remember where that was look at the try little elephants oh. so with that information they were able to put up some beehive fences along the sides of those farms and those fences worked really well they did several things with the situation Helps the farmers because it saved their crops i'm trying to read comments guys it's a little hard why the um, vehicles <laughs> moving but i think somebody just said they like animal kingdom launch yes i love animal kingdom launch too one of my if not it is my favorite resort it'll keep them healthier and strong or resistant to disease and also happens to make any of the food they grow taste better and that's all true but it's the giraffes pollinating and of course it doesn't just help the people but it's all the, the flamingos it keeps them away from people not many of us know when humans and wildlife are into hi lori welcome to the stream everybody nice and safe Folks on the right hand side, we're going to look at some springbok and white bearded wildebeest to the left. Might be hard to see what's on the side. Flamingos. They are the largest and lightest shade of pink. 
out of all the flamingos, they don't actually have to pick. They have to kind of gray and black to get their trademark color. Of the first Welcome back, Debbie. Alive, yes. Stream is back enough. I'm running. Beta carotene. It's the beta carotene in their diet that gives them their color. Folks, that carotene sounds an awful lot like the carotene I talked about in those rhino horns. Those are two very different things. We're actually a white rhino territory now. We're actually from southern white rhinos. So I'll talk about it in a moment, but I'm going to kick it off with. Oh my gosh. Look at well, the rhinos. Kind of because northern white rhinos are totally extinct. There are only two of them left in the world. Now they're both very well protected on a reserve in Kenya. And there are brilliant minds working around the clock trying to figure out how to use a southern white rhino. Look at the baby. Baby rhino. Baby Marie, do you see the baby rhino? Look. Isn't it cute? He's scratching himself on the tree. <laughs> so cute. Look at the baby rhino scratching his ears. Hello, everybody in the chat. It's a little hard to read the chat right now while we're on the ride, but hello to everybody. Hope y'all are enjoying the stream. Welcome, welcome. These are just trying to stay cool in the water, it looks like. A little pond. They're showing us that rhinos can make a comeback when they're reintroduced. On the left hand side is another animal that led so to northern white rhinos. She got that hill and all the way to the leftmost edge, there's a cheetah laying down. Oh yeah, you can see the cheetah up her left hill. It might be hard for you guys to see, but there's a tiny little cheetah up there. It's an incredible story that once again I'm not going to go into more detail My baby Marie is watching, how exciting. Just like with the painted dogs or anything else, if you want to learn more about it, what I do want to talk about is that at one point, there were only seven On top of the hill, back there by the fence, there's a Today cheetah. About 7, 000, but their population is declining again, facing many of the same issues I talked about earlier with giraffes. And folks, a great way to help the cheetahs or the giraffes or any animal you want to, it doesn't even have to be one we see and talk about today, is just by getting online and doing some of your own research. Now, I promise there's an animal out there. For no lions today, today I guess. Oh, they're, they're fixing the rock work. I think I saw them somewhere on social media where they're redoing the, the rock work. So I guess they've pulled them out of the reserve, right? No lions. And then start to spread the word. Talk to anybody who will listen and post on your social media accounts. Before long, you'll have made a much bigger impact than you ever realize. Because education is one of the most powerful tools conservation is used to help animals. We'll get to the option given it, but as that little brown and white antelope off to the right hand side shows us, you don't have to be a ostrich way down there to make a difference. Anybody can help. And that little antelope over there is called it. So I guess they're redoing the rocks here. Animals in the world to conservation is because they have a great success story. I'll tell you all that story in just a little bit. Once we start making our way back towards the village, we're going to talk about some ostriches, and I don't want to risk skipping over anyone else, but we can really do it all. Speaking of anyone else on the left-hand side, there's a warthog right there. Oh, there it is. Look at the warthog. I know you guys world world in the chat are saying y'all don't like or afraid of the rhinos. Warthogs I'm probably more afraid of warthogs. Look at that one right there. Have you and you know, here in Orlando, or yeah, Central Florida, the Florida in general, we have wild pigs. You always hear the stories of what those wild pigs can do. Now, folks, keep your eyes on the right hand side of the truck. This is right where that octopus is again. And then that ostrich is just to the back of that warden's pickup. Now, ostriches have the largest eye out of any land animal, which has about two inches across. It's comparable to a billiard ball. It takes so much room in their tiny heads that their brains are as small as any one of their eyes. So I'll let y'all try to fill in the rest of that. But they make up for that lack of processing power. It's one of the most advanced immune systems on Earth. And ostriches are very resilient animals. Now, folks, that bomb to box story is going to bring us back about 100 years to South Africa when there were just 17 of them left on Earth. A farmer found that last herd on his farm of all places. They made their way into a, uh, a pen he built up for his sheep. He decided to keep them there. He ended up saving the place. By getting in touch with the National Park in South Africa, they opened the whole new Bontabak National Park. Now, thanks to those efforts, they grew to just 17 100 years ago to almost 3,000 today, which is a great number for them because they've always historically had a pretty small population. Not totally out of the woods yet, but they're still growing. They're all really eager to see where time will take them. Folks, on the left-hand side, little Nigerian dwarf goats actually much oh, like the Oh, look at the little, little dwarf goats. Guys, I hope you're all enjoying the view. Look. This is new to me. I don't remember this little part here either. I feel like this is new. This must be post post reopening or something. Yeah, all of this is new. Of course this is new. Steve, come on, you should know that. Make some money for the community as well. 
Now, folks, that bounce block really is so important because the story lens open in conservation work. It's pretty easy to feel discouraged. So you get something like it, and you hold on tightly. The bounce box lends hope to many of the animals we've just seen and talked about, like the bongos and the pink dogs, dogs, the giraffes, and the cheetahs, and of course the rhinos, and so many more. That's why a lot of them are here, as sort of ambassadors for their species. So we all get to go around and enjoy looking at them together. While myself and my fellow guides get the privilege of taking you all on these adventures to talk to you not just about these animals, but also the issues they face in ways everybody can help. Now here in Parapic, our headquarters does like this thing. You see with your eyes, you value your heart. I get to spend all day with the animals. I don't know if you can tell by now, but they mean a lot to me. So I hope you guys are all going to bring some of that home with you. And if you are and you'd like to get involved and help out, the easiest way to do that today is going to be bonding and building the next conservation fund. Now there's no pressure to do that, but if you'd like to, you can at any merchandise location in the village. Disney will match a dollar to dollars. I also put 100% of proceeds to conservation initiatives. Now today's not the day for you to do that. Hakuna Matata, you know, no worries. There was no pressure to get with a lot of other great ways to help these animals. We've talked about a whole lot of them. There are so many more. That might be what you want to get online and research. And I said find your rhino and you know, the capacity of looking for an animal to help. But maybe for some of you, it's not about helping an animal. It's about hearing your life more towards sustainability. And you can do that in so many different ways. There's some really, really big changes you can make, like putting solar on your house or switching to an electric vehicle. And some smaller ones, like learning more about recycling and maybe try to move away plastic bottles and go to aluminum cans instead guys we're just waiting to offload we got a couple of cars or vehicles ahead of us this will be our second is because people are just unfamiliar with the proper ways to recycle things what they should rinse and what they shouldn't and what goes in what bin and it's it's uh it's it gets a little complicated a little convoluted sometimes too so really look into that learn some more about that but also if you can move away from those plastics and go to the can and you recycle those cans and recycle them properly, they become a brand new aluminum can in about 30 days. Guys, I think after we uh, disembark from here and get off the vehicle, I think I'll head back towards the entrance of the park. Let's go look at some merchandise. We'll test the stream, make sure we're holding a good signal, and let's go back in and look at some merch. How does that sound? Everyone want to see some merchandise still today? Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. That way you don't miss out on, it, on any of our super cool you know, content, vlogs, live streams, etc. Make sure you subscribe. Click the bell notification icon. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're one of our Mouse Secrets family, always, of course, welcome. Hope you guys are having a great time. Hope you're enjoying the views and everything. It's a lot of fun bringing it to you. This is my first time riding the safari since the parks reopened. It's been a long time. I really enjoyed it. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Of course, folks. Take care. I can tell you Verizon does not work well in this park. Oh, Verizon is awful. Yeah. It's awful. I switched over to AT&T to make it work. It was yeah. terrible. Verizon, <laughs> I'm not getting any. Uh-huh. The signal's awful. Awful. Yeah. 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 Good luck. Good Have fun. On your channel. Thank you. Alrighty. All right, guys, that was fun. Hope y'all enjoyed the All safari. Right, let's go grab uh, the stroller. And let's see how we do with our signal. We switched over to at and I don't know if y'all could hear it now, but another very kind guest must have overheard our conversation about our service uh, and was saying they were having horrible connections with Verizon. So, um, must be this way, I'm assuming. Strollers. Maybe they were down here. Let's check down here. I feel like I may have missed something. Let's take a walk down here. Did I miss the strollers? I know this is not it. So it must be. Hi, how are you? The stroller pickup was it up the hill? Ah, okay. Thank you so much. Alrighty.
Yeah, apparently, well, like I was saying before, oh, I'll take this mask off so I can breathe for a second. Like I was saying before, before we got on the safari, AT&T is the official sponsor for like, you know, Wi-Fi and internet for the Disney Resort. So I'm assuming they probably have an amazing set of towers all around Disney property. So hopefully the AT&T signal will hold up. Looks like the strollers are straight ahead. We'll grab that and then we'll start moving. And I always think it's funny too. All of the strollers, they all start to look the same after a while. <laughs> they all look the same. It's interesting. You have to like, where's my stroller? Before you actually enter the loading area, please locate the nearest trash bin and And we're moving. Before we do that, let me just read some comments. I didn't get a chance to read comments on the uh, the attraction, so let's read a few comments real quick. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. So everybody's been chatting it up. Great. I'm glad that everyone's having a lot of fun. Don't worry, honey. I, I found the stroller. I promise. So let's take a uh, let's take a walk to go see some merch. And I feel bad that our stream when we were in the gift shop got shut off. So. Um, let's just see where the paths take us. I'm sure it'll take us to something very, very cool. Hey guys, how are you? Steve here. Hope y'all are doing well. Hope y'all enjoyed the little safari ride. Um, we're on our way to look at some merchandise. We're out here at Animal Kingdom having a good old time. Uh, let's see. Let me turn this back around one second. Here we go. Okay. Harambe. No, this is not what I wanted. Why am I I'm very turned around? I'm lost. Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail. Yeah, must be this way. Okay. Animal Kingdom. You look, I've been in Animal Kingdom. I can't count how many times. And I still get lost in this park. I get turned around in it. So I have a question for you guys in the chat. Do you still get lost inside of Animal Kingdom? Like, if you've been here multiple times, do you ever still get turned around in here and like, where am I going or whatever? Because it happens to me, as you can see, all the time here at Animal Kingdom. I can, I can draw you a map of Epcot. I can draw you a map of Magic Kingdom. I can draw you a map of Hollywood Studios. But Animal Kingdom, forget it. I always get turned around. I always have to look at my signs. Here we go. It's like you're coming out of the uh, the savannah or whatever, back to like the village. Which way do we go? Left or right? Let's go left. Let's go this way. Well, we'll go around. <laughs> I'm going to take the path of least resistance, because I think what we're going to do. In the first pocket, that first little pocket. Here's an unusual gift shop. Let's go in. Is this where we were, though? Is this? I feel like we just came out of here, though. Zwani Traders. But wasn't it called something else? I'm a little turned around. Zwani tra Traders. Let's see. Yes, this is where we were. Well, I tell you what, Rosemary, the parks, they are crazy. But, you know, like, Magic Kingdom's a hub. Animal King, I mean, Epcot is kind of, you know, you got big icons to search for. Yeah, look, hold on, I want to back myself up. Mombasa, it's called Mombasa Marketplace on one side. And whatever I just said, the Zawani Traders on the other side. Okay. And as soon as the crowd clears, I'll show you guys. So here's the carts that were covered. And um, Ashley and Chuck, I know you were asking for the wood carvings which I don't see. It's those, um, what do you call those? They're not the wind chimes, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Actually, check these out though. There's Simba, it's Pumbaa and Timba. It's baby, um, oh my gosh. I'm having a brain freeze. But either way, these are pretty cool. It looks like this one, like this size is 55. 
You have to buy each one, I guess, right? Yeah, $55 for each part. Interesting, okay. I don't see the wood carvings though. I'm all for face masks. I know they need to be worn and so forth. But I tell you what, like, it, it is hot with one on, especially on like an outdoor attraction for a long time, like the safari ride. It's tough. <laughs> tough breathing. Not complaining though. I know they're needed. Guys, if you're enjoying the stream, please do give it a big old thumbs up. It really helps us out in the YouTube algorithm. I guess let's go towards Discovery Island. Tusker House is off to our right. I'll show you guys the, um, the menu. I have a vlog uh, of Tusker House where we went right after it reopened. Guys, it is amazing. The food at Tusker House is so, so, so good. Highly, highly, highly recommend Tusker House. Highly recommend it. It's all you can eat, family style, chimichurri, beef, curry shrimp, pork, uh, you name it, it's so good. Susanna loves it. And we'll go back. Hope everybody's having fun enjoying the stream. So while uh, we're taking a walk here, might as well talk. So for Tuesday around 6.30, I, we did mention yesterday in the Saturday New Year that we will be live from Disney Springs. We're gonna go to Walt Disney, we're gonna go to the co-op, the dress shop. Depending on how much time we spend in there, maybe we'll make it over to Pin Traders. We'll see how the time is looking and so forth. But yeah, we're gonna be at Disney Springs doing shopping and live pickups and just checking out merchandise. So. Come make sure to hang out with us Tuesday evening over at Disney Springs. Can't wait. Looking forward to it. Carvings are at Epcot, Al, uh, Epcot Alpha. I'm trying to read the chant. Okay, well, next time we're over at Epcot, we will definitely look for them. Let me stop and read the chant. I'm walking, having a hard time reading it. Take a second here. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, you know what? I'm sure they'll have them up here. If they don't, Amy and Chuck, I will go back and check for you. But let me see if they have them up here. Kathy, I am on the lookout for your red clock. I did get your email. We're you know, requesting for us to see if we can find the red clock. I feel like I've seen that here at Animal Kingdom before, but again, it's been a couple of weeks since I've been over here, so but we'll check. Let's go into some gift shops. Let's test AT&T. Let's see if the signal works. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I love how you guys are helping each other out in the chat, locating things, locate merchandise answering each other's questions. It's fantastic. I love how we're growing like a nice little community here. If there's anyone else that you think would enjoy the streets, share it with them. Share it into your Facebook groups or social medias and, you know, let's grow the community. It's already growing as it is. I say let's go into Island Mercantile first. I have a feeling we'll probably find that Mickey hat with the ears anyway in here. So let's see. I'm not sure I'm not familiar with the wood carvings. I have to, now I'm like very interested to see them. So let's see if we can find them. Here we go, Island Mercantile. Fingers crossed we hold the string. If we don't, just bear with me. I'll try to move around and uh, yeah, I'll, uh, we should not totally disconnect this time, so. Oh, it feels good in here. Pandora merch, lots of Pandora merchandise. There's the hat, I think. Yes, I do see the hat. Ooh, excellent. I had a feeling they were gonna have it in here. Let's see, how much, oh, gotta put the mask on. I keep forgetting, indoors, I put the mask. Okay, the hat. Actually, Chuck, it's $24.99 for the hat. I'll hold it up so you can see it. It says, Wild About Adventure. And um, you guys are telling me you have a bad signal, so I'll back up. 
Let's see. $24.99 for the hat. I hope you guys can at least hear me. Do we have audio? Do we have audio, guys? Let's see. I'll just stand still for a second. Give. Okay. Okay. Susanna, you may have just had a little glitch on your end. <laughs> the, home, the house Wi-Fi may have dropped or something, but good, 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 good. I'm glad. So then, yes, make sure you guys can see the hat, and I'll stop again so you can see it. I believe it was Amy and Chuck that was asking about the hat. It is. You do want one. Okay, fantastic. I will get you one, my dear. Let's find a nice one for you. One that doesn't have any impression marks or anything like that. I love the hat. It's actually a really, really cute hat. Uh, okay. I like this one. This one looks good. All right. So yeah, I might as well, in case if someone's new on the stream, explain the process. We are doing shopping pickups as well for you guys at home. So if you see an item you want, just like Ashley and Chuck did, you saw how they just commented down below that they wanted a Mickey Mouse safari hat. And we went ahead and pulled it for them. And then as the stream wraps up, they'll send us an email at sales at mousesecrets.com with all the items that they purchased from us, uh, letting us know all the items that they purchased from us. And then all we do is email them back a uh, invoice for them to pay so we can get the items shipped out promptly. Our pickup fees are pretty simple. If the item is under $60, it's a $5 pickup fee plus uh, shipping. If the item is over $60, it is 10% of the cost of the item plus the shipping. Um, yeah, okay. And if you have any questions, you can always ask in the chat. Either I'll answer you, or I'm sure. One of our cool Mouse Secrets family in the chat will answer that question as well. If you have questions about how it works doing pickups. I wanted to show you this display. Check this out. I love the ornaments. Hoarded Grotto says we have audio video. Fantastic, guys. Awesome. Thank you so much for letting me know. So then while we're in here, I want to show you guys everything. Because I don't know when we were in the last gift shop how quickly um, the signal dropped and what y'all were able to see. So I love the little Tree of Life play set. Popcorn snacks. And guys, we can ship snacks. If there's some Disney snacks, like the Disney popcorn, which is... I think world famous. I think that's like something everybody likes. We'll happily pick up popcorn and ship it for you. Not a problem at all. I say this every time I see this zip up, um, hey, hey, bird, or whatever, but I'm not, hee hee, bird. I always can never say that. Right. I just love it. I love the hood. If, oh, here's one down below. Maybe you can see this one easier. I love the hood on it. I wish they had an adult size. I would totally wear that during the winter here at the parks. You could be silly at Disney. All right. Oh, it's a puzzle set. How cute is that? I love that one. Oh, very, very cool. The birdie is $26.99. Maybe I should show you guys pens because I don't know how we did with the stream and the other gift shop trying to look at pens. So I will take y'all over to see some pens here. One second, once it kind of clears out, let all the other kind guests get their view. Okay. I'll try to go slow so that we get a good sharp image. Here are the 2021 pins. Ooh, I like the Jack Skellington one. Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, Kermy. That is a very good question. Um, once we're done with the pins, I will check to see if the grape soda pillow is scented. I don't believe it is, but I could be totally wrong. So yeah, we'll check it. But we're right over here. Let's look at these pins really, really quick. Pirates of the Caribbean lanyard. Here are all the little starter kits. Little pin trader starter set. And of course, they've got the Lion King one as well. Coming on around this way. Oswald the Rabbit. Donald, some Genie and Stitch. Tinkerbell. Pinocchio. Jimmy Cricket. Mary Poppins. Here's some Pixar pins, Incredibles. Okay. 
Look at the princesses, beast. I like the beast pin. All of the Lion King pins. Look at baby Simba. Hakuna Matata. Timon and Pumbaa. Eeyore, Rabbit, Tigger, Stormtroopers, BB-8. Wow, these are so cool. The Jack Skellington. Sparkly. These are nice. These are 3D almost. Like If you guys can tell, that's a raised up pin. This is flat, but this is 3D. I haven't seen these. Look at the little flip-flops. <laughs> I've seen the Wally ones over at the warehouse. They've had this for a while at the warehouse. But look at this one, photobomb. Great. Who wouldn't want to be photobombed by Goofy and Donald? Here are the pride pins. Okay. Look at these little sets. These are cute. Inside out set. Pin backs, mystery pins. Okay. All right. Very cool. You know, let's go take a look at a grape soda pillow. I am curious. You got to be curious now, um, or grotto, as to whether or not it is scented. I don't think it is, but we're going to find out. No, <laughs> I sniffed it. I promise I did. It's not scented. It is, however, $26.99. Grape soda pillow. All of the keychains. Yay, keychains. I love the Fantasia Mini. The little teacup. Give me a mini right in the teacups. The donuts. Here are the pride pins. Okay. Pride keychains. Hot pins, keychains. These are cool, so you don't have to touch. They call them door opener keychains. Check these out, guys. They have these at the warehouse, but look, they have them here too. Look at the mini. <laughs> the mini with the big head. Interesting. The park. Oh, very cool. I like this one. Huh. Little park pals. More keychains with the gloves. Little purse. Very, very cool. You're welcome. No problem. That's what we're here for. Yes, if you guys have any questions, want us to check something or look, show you guys something a little more detailed, just ask. We'll happily do it. There's the Sully, Mike Wazowski, Nemo, Tigger, Frozen Forky, Olaf, I should say. Now I have the Lion King song in my head. Here's some magnets, 2021 photo frame magnets. Grape soda magnets. Look at the Woody magnet. Mickey, or Minnie, Woody, Minnie, little Dumbo ride car magnet. Very cool. There are some Lion King ones. Current mood. Current mood. And the classic Walt Disney World magnet. Okay. Ears. Ears. Bags. It's the cat bag. I love the cat bag. How much is the cat bag? Let's see. $34.99 for the cat bag. And look, all of this is cat merchandise. They have the lounge flies. Well, the dog lounge flies. They have the shirts. Tumblers. Towels. They have the leggings. T matching tops. They even have the puzzle set. Okay. Here's some youth merch. Let's just take a slow little walk around. It's actually not very busy in here, so if there's something that jumps out at you that you want me to kind of focus in on, just comment down below and I'll walk over to it. Dumbo mag, yes, it's a Dumbo ride car magnet. I can go back over there and show it to you. It is a Dumbo ride car magnet. Um, there we go. Stick it there. See? 
There it is. Dumbo ride car magnet. Isn't it cool? It's like purple. Yeah, purple. Very, very cool. This is color red, color red. It's $9.99. Dumbo magnet, they have a Woody magnet, and they have the Minnie Mouse magnet. Tree of Life. And I'll try to stay focused on Dumbo for you for a second. Okay. I have to remember that we do have a little bit of a delay, so I'll hang here just for a quick second. No problem, happy to show it to you. All of the apparel. I'll just stop here for a second and let you guys see the shirts. I like the I'm just happy to be here with Forking. I like the classic Disney World shirt beside it. Which other ones jump out at me? This one's interesting. Like It's an interesting retro Mickey. It says, oh boy, it's distressed print, park bound. Feeling magical, where dreams come true. I like that one. It's $24.99. Little tie-dye backpacks. I like those too. Very neat tie-dye backpacks. I'll just kind of pan down real slow for you guys. You can see the different designs. They have the happy one with the castle. They have the home key. Here's some jerseys. We have an R2-D2 jersey. We have a child jersey or a Grogu jersey, the Chewbacca hat. This is like a mint green. Buzz Lightyear, Infinity and Beyond, still have those. A lot of these they've had for quite some time. And then the ears. Let me read chat. Am I missing anything, guys? Has anyone made a request that maybe I missed? If I have, just ask again. Here's some more ears, polka dot ears. Very flashy sequiny, very sequiny. Yeti hat, Simba hat. Here are the ears. I know we want to see ears. Always want to see ears. Let's take a look at the ears. Ooh, the lavender ones are nice. The blue balloons. Kelly Carolina blue. Donut ears. Good question. Yes, we had a request for donut ears. Those are the ears. I don't see them here. I don't see the donut ears now. This is what they currently have ears wise. Do not see the donut ears. I was trying to show these in the first gift shop on the first stream too. These are interesting. It's almost like a, looks like basket, like a basketball <laughs> in the material. It looks like a basketball material. Pink ones, pink, pink polka dot ears. Zip up hoodie, some lounge flies. They're nice. These are like plush. Minnie Mouse plush ears. Oh, they have one of those other utility keychains. I actually like that one more than the one I saw hanging on the rack. And here's the wallets. Susanna, you just got one over at the warehouse, but here's like the new version of it. I think I actually like the one that you have more because the one that you have has the ears on it. This one doesn't have the ears. Okay. Da -da -da. Alrighty guys, well if there's nothing else in here you want to see, I will settle up with the cashier and then I'll, I'll be right back over to the stream. So let me sit down the camera, give me one second and we'll be right back. I'll let you guys stare at these super cute plushes. <laughs> I'll set y'all down for one second. Be right back.
Alrighty guys, I'm back. Give me one second while we get the uh, stabilizer going. Okay, we should be nice and stable now. Here we go. Alrighty, fantastic. How's everybody doing? You guys having fun, enjoying? Make sure I'm not missing anything in the chat. Let's take a little read. Oh, um, they do not have the donut ears. I didn't see them. However, I would like to go inside of Riverside Depot. But I think I will start at the, well, I always like to start at the back end. So let's start at the back end of Riverside Depot. But no, I didn't see the donut ears. There's a little ear stand here. Might as well take a peek while we're over here. I see Stitch. I see the orange ones. Chinese New Year ears, lavender ears. I do not see donut ears, no. Something tells me those are all gone already. I'm gonna set the camera down on this little spot right here, this little light post and take a sip of water because I am super thirsty. <laughs> Give me one second. And then we're gonna get ready to go inside of Discovery Trading Company. Let's see, I have a bottle of water down here. I just want to grab. Ice cold bottle of water sounds so good right now. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, a little hydration. <laughs> Put my mask back on because we need that to go indoors. It's great. Let's see. Let me turn this around here real quick. Hey guys, how's it going? I gotta say, like, it's still crazy, like, trying to readjust to putting the face mask back on. But I think I've gotten it back down. So, off outside as soon as I go through the doors, on inside. There we go. Let's go inside. Let's see if we hold a good, strong signal in here. We're testing AT&T. Let's see how AT&T does for us today. Fingers crossed. Okay. Around here. Oh, I like these spirit churches. It's kind of like a tie-dye spirit jersey. Oh, fix my gimbal. One, two, three, there we go. It's like a tie-dye, but it's, it's, I guess it's a kind of tie-dye. Either way, those are $49.99. The little silver Disney World jersey shirt, $49.99. Little 
Cheers. Oh, hats the fleece. <laughs> Check out the little mini mouse socks. Baby Marie, are you watching? They have these. I feel like your mama already bought you those though. So we're in the youth section. These hats must be very popular. The Mickey ear, like uh, safari hats. They've got them in every shop. There's Goofy. It's interesting how the Goofy hat has a short brim. The Goofy hat, I feel like, always had the really long brim on it. It looks like the new ones. It's short. Right, Animal Kingdom has some of the best theming of any of the uh, resorts or parks. And I guess that just has to do with because it's, it's the newest one. Can you guys hear me? Are we on audio? Can y'all hear the audio? yesterday was asking about these. They do have them here. $29.99 for the black ones. It's like neoprene, I think. $39.99. What a cool bag. Nice price, too. Minnie Mouse leggings. Ears. This top is $36.99. The zip up hoodie is $54.99. Let's see how much this kind of retro 90s denim jacket is. $69.99. Take a look at the jacket. And Susanna, I know you love jacket, denim jackets. Oh, this one's cool. $44.99. The distress print Mickey is $39.99. Feels too uh, feels good to be home. Mood happy. Here's a Classic best day ever shirt, like that one. Let's take a look at the Doonies. Let's go see some Doonies. I believe, well, you know what? Before you even look at the Doonies, let's see some jewelry. I'll show you guys the jewelry first. I'll go nice and slow so you can see all of the jewelry. Hopefully you'll be able to read the prices too. Looks like it's the same sets all the way down. Guys, as always, if you are new to this stream or if you're watching this as a replay, we do do live shopping pickups. We do shopping pickups as well, even after the stream has passed. So if you're watching this as a replay and there's an item that you see that you like, um, just send me an email at sales at mousesecrets.com saying, Hey, Steve, I really, really like the Lady in the Tramp uh, jewelry necklace that we saw at the Animal Kingdom, in, in, in the Animal Kingdom video, and I'd like to get one. And uh, yeah, we'll immediately email you back an invoice. We'll pick one up for you and ship it out to you right away. So if you're watching this as a replay, you absolutely can place Disney merchandise orders through us. And probably the easiest way to do it, watch all these videos, see the merch, send us the email, sales at mousesecrets.com, letting us know what the piece is that you would like to purchase and the quantity as well. We go everywhere. We go to Disney Springs, Character Warehouse, World of Disney, Mouse Gear, The Emporium, Little Resorts, and of course, like we are right now, Animal Kingdom, which I feel like is sometimes a place that's forgotten, like when people think of merchandise, but they have some of the best mer merchandise locations. <laughs> Yes, Alex and Eyes. Let's see the Alex and Eyes. I like this Fantasia one. Ooh, look at the orange bird, Alex and Ani. I haven't seen the tie dyes yet. I've been looking. I haven't seen them yet. Although I guess in a way, like we did see some of the kind of tie dyes, but you're talking about the actual t-shirts, I believe. Speaking of tie-dyes, guys, um, some of you may know this, some of y'all don't, So, because I know a lot of you guys are new. 
but we are mousesecrets.com and we are uh we've been for years making disney mansion shirts so if you need matching shirts for your next upcoming disney vacation also make sure to check out mousesecrets.com for that as well we do custom shirts we can add your names family names we do have tie dyes and it just makes it a lot of fun we'll try to take a little peek at the dunes here very cool let's go around this way maybe you'll see them a little better and more jewelry too you see the moana bag mini i don't see the hunchback though am i missing the hunchback looks like that's at the other end we'll go down there in a second the hunchback here's more jewelry i'll just kind of pause the video here hold the camera steady for you guys so you can see all of the jewelry oh tie-dye ears guys i would be lying to you Susanna. you're gonna have to help me there because i didn't even know that there were tie-dye ears i had no idea about that yeah i didn't even know that there were tie-dye ears and if that is the question then no i haven't seen tie-dye ears i don't think i would think those would have jumped out at me so i want to see the hunchback bag this looks like it here yeah there it is there's the hunchback bag very very cool thank you honey little wristlets well, I tell you um, when we do see them we will absolutely make sure to get them in the next stream or next vlog absolutely okay here's the Vera Bradley's I'll show you guys All right, now let's go on back this way. I said I was gonna start all the way at the end, but I know I came in kind of from the middle of the store, but let's go towards like kitchenware. If there's anything specific you guys want me to stop and show you guys, just comment down below. We'll happily show you. But we're heading towards the front of the store, towards the kitchenware. Oh, these are cool button-ups. The monorail tee. Look, it's all the different characters' hats. <laughs> I like that. Oh, my baby girl's gonna take a bath. Yay! <laughs> I miss my baby. I'm coming home to see her very, very soon. Very, very soon. I did want to show you guys this one because I think I'm gonna have to pick this one up. I love this one. This is tie-dye. It's the Haunted Mansion shirt, and I love it. With the three hitchhiking ghosts. $36.99. God, that's a great shirt. I love that one. As well as the Kilimanjaro Safari's hat. I like this one too with the pins. Okay. Yes. That's what the stroller's here for. Well, I need that to carry my gear and stuff too. I'm just not a big fan of carrying um, backpacks around the theme park. I never would have thought that I would use a stroller or you know, be able to like, understand how convenient it is so we had the baby. But having a stroller in the theme park, it is amazing. You can put bottles of water, which is what I do. I actually freeze bottles of water, put them in the freezer, um, let them get nice rock solid and bring them to the park. I put them underneath the stroller, let them kind of start to melt. That way, really, throughout the day, we have ice cold water. So, yeah, I've got waters in there. I've got my camera gear in there. Uh, having a stroller is amazing. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. Of course, yes, if you pick up any merchandise that you don't want to carry bags or, you know, if you don't want to have to worry about sending it to the front of the park and so forth, having the stroller is great. And I don't have to carry a backpack. I get, you know, when you're on your feet all day at the parks after a while, the bags will get kind of heavy carrying a backpack, especially if you have, like, cameras and stuff in there. Okay, I love all the dresses, the little, these are all what, $15.99, right? Tiana, Belle, okay, the Beast plush. 
All right, kitchenware time. One of our favorite places to come shop. Are you guys into the puzzles? I know a lot of people really, really, really like the puzzles. Like this one's great. All of the different Mickeys. It's a thousand piece puzzle set. What's behind me? Ooh, more puzzles. This is the Aladdin one. There's a Toy Story one. All oh, those are really, really cool. Guys, I hope y'all are enjoying the stream. I hope y'all are having fun. I'm having fun bringing it to you. It's a lot of fun being out here. Let's see, what is this one? Oh, it's the first Avengers, Avengers Magic Band. These are interesting, right? Little belt clips. This one with the castle, very cool. They have all of the dolls. Dolls are 26 dollars New plastic free packaging, yeah. I guess it's better for the environment, they're plastic free packaging. Castles. But we, me and Susanna got this for baby girl. I know it's a little bit advanced for her, but you know what? We wanted to get it for her, so. And I think I'm gonna put that into our Christmas village that I'm gonna set up this year. Definitely gonna put that in the village. Still have a ton of these little Groots. Plushes galore. All the plushes. Oh, Hoarder's Grotto, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I see in the comments, Marty says that he likes to do teaser puzzles. Okay, Marty, help me understand what exactly qualifies as a teaser puzzle, because they're all difficult for me. <laughs> Is that what you mean when you say like teaser puzzle? And um, if Ashley and Chuck are still on the stream, this was the plush that I was talking about when you were getting your little Simba. This is him, right? Like, this is the Chewbacca with the big feet. I don't know. He, he looks like... Actually, you know, I saw people making fun of this plush. I actually think he's cute. His face is funny. He looks like a real baby Chewbacca. Now, I have fun shopping with you guys. It's a lot of fun getting to check out the merchandise and show you guys everything and see your guys' reactions. Dumbo plushes. The soul plush is actually kind of nice. Check this one out. Oh, like Rubik's Cubes. I gotcha. Okay. Yeah. No, um, with the um with the Chewbacca, I just heard people were making fun of it because they said his face looked funny. But I thought he looked kind of cool. This is a, oh, these are stickers, right? This is just a regular sticker? Yeah, $4.99, little orange bird sticker. Teacups, um, what else is here? Castles, there's a stitch card. Those are card decals, right? Yeah, stitch card decals, but these are regular stickers. Card magnets, so they're all kind of mixed in here. And the plate frames. All the different sanitizer bottles. Luggage tags, they have a small world tag. Minnie Mouse. Here are the little hats. These are everybody's names, or what do we see? Best Buddy, I Love Dance. I Love the Grandkids, Mama, Daddy, Best Mom. Okay. That's actually kind of like a play on the matching shirts. Alphabet keychains. We'll say it's that Mickey and Minnie and Donald and Goofy. Okay. I like the little babies too. <laughs> like the little babies. Fleece throws. This one's thirty-seven twenty-two. Yeah, thirty-seven. Interesting price. Look at that. <laughs> Interesting price. Thirty-seven twenty-two. I see, let's see. I missed something here. Yes, as our style. I did see the email, and um, yes, we will. We will, I think I have to respond, or I can't remember exactly what it was, but I will review that email when I get back home. I can't remember if I actually responded to it yet. Yesterday's Saturday Nooner. A cool magic man, I must say. Very, very cool magic man. These are neat. So I wonder like for like a cool little Disney Christmas village, could you put these little guys in there or are they gonna be oversized for the village? 
I don't know. They still might look really cool though. These are somewhat new, somewhat new stockings. I like the material they're made out of it. They have the raised up noses on them. They are $29.99. Mickey, Minnie, Sully, Mike Wazowski. Disney uh, Days of Christmas, we will be doing, by the way. So I know a lot of you guys are into Christmas ornaments. We'll definitely be doing that very soon, possibly this coming week. Be on the lookout. Actually, make sure to come join the Mouse Secrets Facebook group so you don't miss out on any future announcements for upcoming streams like this and shopping streams and so forth. And I'm trying to, um, as suggested yesterday, make sure I announce them through YouTube as well because I know a lot of you guys do not have Facebook. And uh, yeah, we'll continue to work on trying to get these announcements out a little bit better for you guys. I'll make sure to link the group um, when I get home, once I end the stream into the chat, not into the chat, into the comment section of this video so you'll be able to see the, um, the link to join the Mount Secrets group. As well as, also, if you've picked up any merchandise today, just send us an email, sales at mousesecrets.com, or if you're watching this on a replay and there's, you see something that you want, for example, like the little, um, this chip mug, email us at sales at mousesecrets.com saying, hey, I watched your Animal Kingdom live stream replay and I really want a chip mug. And we'll actually get one for you as long as it's still available. And um, we'll send you an invoice so you can pay for it and we'll get it shipped out to you right away. So yeah, you don't necessarily have to buy right during the stream. You can buy on a replay as well. But I do highly recommend sometimes to do it during the streams. That way we can get them over here before uh, before whatever just sells out. Because a lot of these products, y'all know how it is. They are high demand items that will be gone right away. What is this, by the way? I'm talking so much, I'm not even looking at what I'm seeing here. This? Nesting containers with lids. Look at the print on those. I like that. $39.99. Okay. Look at the little Fantasia figurines. These are cool. $19.99 with frozen picture frames. The little genie lamp mugs. $14.99. Poison apple. All of these are matching the home series. I wish they still had the pillows. I love the big pillow from, that's almost been a year ago since they've had the pillow. I wish they would bring it back. <laughs> cool. Animal came to Tree of Life dish. I love this little um, picture frame. Mickey Mouse Safari picture frame. The toasting glasses set to two, Mr. And Mrs. Little castle. Oh, it's here. Look at that. Take a look. They do have the home pillow. Wow. When did they get that back in? Guys, that's a that's a heads up. I know a lot of you probably wanted this pillow last year and it sold out really quickly. It's here. <laughs> God, I can't believe it. The home pillow. Great to know that's here. I, I might as well tell you all the price. $49.99 for the home pillow. Okay. I think once the secret gets out, those won't be around for too long. It was very, very popular last year, and I don't anticipate that it won't be very, very popular this year as well. All right. Let's take a walk down by the Tree of Life one more time. And then I think uh, we will probably get ready to call, call it a day. Let's see if we can get a little closer to the Tree of Life, though. How's this signal look for everybody? It looks pretty decent. Video quality looks pretty good. Hoping we're doing a lot better now than what we were at the start of the day. One day I just like to come out here, it's maybe not on a day when it's so hot, but on a day like when the weather is nice, 
and uh, spend a little time and try and spot every single animal that is on the tree of life. Think it's possible? <laughs> actually not that bad out here right now the sun is you know we have decent cloud cover so the sun is behind the clouds i mean it's still humid but after a while you just don't feel the humidity that much anymore let's just take a little walk before we close the video yeah so while we're taking a walk next video will be tuesday evening um, 6 30 p.m. ish I always say ish because it's always hard you know to get right on the money with the time because you never know if you're gonna have to wait in um oh what do we get down here little flamingos oh and red kangaroos you never know if you're gonna be able to start right on time so I always say like 6 30 ish like today I was a little late it took me longer to get parked and situated and so forth I was hoping to start at 1 30 but either way and I do apologize again if you were here all the way back on the first stream, you would have seen um, that we had a little technical issue there in the beginning, but hopefully things are looking a lot better at this point. So we'll be out of Disney Springs. We're going to go to World of Disney. We're going to go to the co-op. We'll go take a look at the dresses. So yeah, should be a lot of fun. Depending on how much time we spend in there, I don't know if we'll make it over to like the... Um, Excuse me, uh, pin traders, but they come out of there and go to pin traders. Absolutely, Disney Days of Christmas is coming very, very, very soon, but I don't think we'll do that in the same video because I want to spend a little time in there. Shall we take a walk through Pandora? Let's take a walk through Pandora. Come on, let's walk through Pandora one time. Masks on at all indoor locations. Guys, if they get a little like interruption in the video, I just have to check something real quick, make sure. All right. <laughs> hey. Whoopsie. I think we dropped the signal there, but I think we're back. Give everyone a chance to come back. Right when we entered Pandora, we dropped the signal. So we should be, should be on again, fingers crossed. Sorry about that. Yeah, right when we got to Pandora, the signal just dropped out completely, so. Either way, welcome to Pandora World of Avatar. Take a look at the floating mountains. Hopefully you guys are back with us, fingers crossed. I apologize, I'm not sure, but I hope you guys are back with us. Signal drop right where we got to Pandora. But either way, welcome to Pandora World of Avatar. I want to show you all the floating mountains. I'm such a big fan of, uh, of Pandora. I just It's my favorite land. I love it, my absolute favorite. I think I actually enjoy um, Pandora World of Avatar, probably more than I even like Galaxy's Edge. I really, really love it back here. So I didn't want to come through here without, or at least come to Animal Kingdom without walking through here one time. I love the detail. I love the water features. They are crazy. Ridiculous water features. Very, very awesome. Check that out, Flight of Passage, if you, well I know you guys can't see it, but I can see it. Flight of Passage, it's only a 15 minute wait, which is, which is, go ahead. it's only a 15 minute wait for Flight of Passage, which is fantastic. For Flight of Passage, that's absolutely amazing. Great. And I've done Flight of Passage several times before, of course, and so 
Yeah, I can see where people are kind of just stopped up there at the front of the mountain, which is exactly right. It's like exactly 50 minutes from that point. Um, and it goes by so fast. And of course, most of that queue, 99% of it is indoors in the AC. So absolutely well worth spending 50 minutes or an hour to ride it. Best ride, in my opinion, of Disney World. Still, I like it more than Rise of the Resistance. And I rode Rise for the first time. I know, I know. A lot of people were shocked. But I hadn't ridden Rise of the Resistance yet. But I rode it for the first time like two weeks ago or whatever it was, week ago. And um, I still think I like Flight of Passage more. That's just my own personal uh, feelings on that. So, Something about Flight of Passage, this is going to sound really corny, but it's kind of like an, an emotional attraction a little bit. That's just my take. And I don't think I'm the only person that uh, gets that feeling. Maybe it's the music or something with Flight of Passage. I'm not sure. But there's something uh, very moving. Maybe that's the correct word. Flight of the Passage is very, very moving. Navi River Journey is 45 minutes. So I won't be riding any more rides today. I think I'm done. It's time for me to call it a day, I believe. So let me uh, find a little spot here where we can close this video. Well, you know what? I'll walk all the way out with you guys. Let's walk out. Let's walk out to the parking lot. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Whoever wants to hang out can hang out. If you want to sign off, absolutely feel free to. It was a lot of fun shopping with you guys. But yeah, I'll just keep it going. I'll talk to you guys on the way out of here. In case if we see something interesting, you never know. We might run into something that we want to check out. So I won't cut the stream just yet. Pandora smells good. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but Pandora smells great. Now, I might have to switch my signal back over here in a second, because this is where I lost everything last time. Yes, a nice leisurely exit. You're right, absolutely. Let's see if we can hold the signal. I jumped back over to Verizon. You know what, let's test Verizon. Let's not switch off Verizon. Let's see how far we can go with Verizon in the park. If you guys were around earlier when we did the safari, another kind Disney guest, guest I should say, um, overheard our conversation about the data signals and they were saying that they could not get a Verizon signal at all They're here at Animal Kingdom. They were just having a horrible time on Verizon. So let's see if we run into that same issue as we start to go back towards uh, the exit of the park. But obviously in Pandora, Verizon is doing fantastic. AT&T dropped out completely inside of Pandora. Oh my gosh, Nomad Lounge smells so good. Wow. Oh my gosh. You know, I've never eaten in Nomad Lounge. Never. I haven't been to Tiffin's before either. I am super, super excited though. August 5th, Yachtsman Steakhouse at the uh, Beach Yacht Club or Be Yacht Club? Come on, Steve, come on. You need to know that one. Yachtsman Steakhouse at the Yacht Club Resort is reopening on October, August, August 5th. <laughs> Did I say that right? Yachtsman Steakhouse at the Yacht Club is reopening on August 5th. And I cannot be more excited. It's my favorite place to have a steak, to have a filet at Disney. So I was able to book. And I'll be there. I can't wait. And I'll, um, I'll video that for you guys. I don't think it'll be a live stream. I think it'll be a normal standard vlog. But um, yeah, I can't wait to get over to the Yachtsman. Oh, I'm so excited. The filet, the potatoes, the mac and cheese. Oh my God, I can't wait. Woo, and I believe that's Thursday, next Thursday. So very, very excited for the Yachtsman. Talking about like Yacht Club Beach Club while we're just walking. I really do wish that um, <clears throat> for Beaches and Cream Ice Cream Shop, that they would bring back the to-go window. For some of you guys that don't know, because you haven't been here for a couple of months, when the parks first reopened, when Disney first reopened, the 
to-go window at Beach Club was open, so you could get ice creams to-go, which was fantastic, because, you know, it's a little tricky sometimes to get a Beach Club reservation, like same day. Although I would say before the parks ever closed, it wasn't that hard. You could get same day reservations or walk-ups, but that's, at this point, like a total thing of the past. So, <clears throat> uh, the to-go window was open there for a while, so you could still get ice cream sundaes, those yummy banana splits, and no way Jose's, and milkshakes, and etc. And it only stayed open for a couple of weeks, and then they closed it. They closed the to-go window, and that to-go window has been closed ever since. I'm so disappointed. I can't tell you, like, now I'm just thinking with my stomach. I'm actually very, very hungry at this point, but I can't tell you how many times I wanted to, like, you know what, I'm going to stop at Beach Club on the way home and grab an ice cream sundae. And I have to remember, like, you can't. The to-go window is closed. You can't do it. So, anyway, that's my little Beach Club Yacht Club rant. So, we will be over there for opening night, Yachtsman Steakhouse. I will be eating a filet, and I'll tell you guys all about it, show you guys plenty of video and pictures, because you guys may want to hit the Yachtsman on your next trip down here to Disney, or next visit to Disney. <laughs> We're heading towards the exit. Thank you so much guys for spending the afternoon with me let's take you know what, what goes back here let's take a little walk maybe there's an animal or two to see on the way out i can't remember <laughs> but anyway yeah thank you so much for spending the afternoon with me it was a lot of fun safari was i think uneventful in the beginning but it actually got pretty cool there we've got an up close shot of some giraffe some what were the other ones antelope i kind of forget the names of the animals but we ended up definitely getting to see some cool animals we saw the hippos and so forth so rhinos did we see hippos? I know we saw the rhinos. I think we did see a hippo in the water swimming. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. So if you're new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe. Give the video a big old thumbs up. I hate, I believe me guys, I hate asking for that. But it's just one of those things with YouTube, with the algorithm. If you say you like the video, then YouTube will share it with other Disney fans that like Disney content as well. So I always just say, just give the video the big old thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, make sure you click the bell notification icon that way you're alerted every time we upload new videos don't want to miss out on that <clears throat> we'll be live again like i was saying earlier tuesday evening disney springs we'll be shopping live as well so it'll be an opportunity for you guys to purchase merchandise alongside with us it'll be a lot of fun so ooh, look at the birds these are called cranes i believe right you see these all over central florida Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Let's let them cross. These two want to go in front. Aren't they pretty? Ooh. Yeah, Tuesday you'll have an opportunity to come shopping with us live in real time. It'll be a lot of fun, so make sure to come hang out on Tuesday evening. We'll look forward to seeing you guys there. As always, again, if you're watching this as a replay, if you see a piece of merchandise in the video that you like, you can still purchase it. All you have to do is just send us an email at sales at mountseekers.com saying, hey, Steve and Susanna, I really want item X. And we will turn around. Well, first of all, we'll make sure they still have it because, you know, how Disney merchandise is. It can sell out fast depending on what the item is. But, um, yeah, provided they still have it, we'll pick it up for you. We'll send you an invoice 
uh, so that you can pay for the item and we'll get it shipped out to you right away. Pretty simple process. Also, come join the Mouse Secrets Facebook group. And um, like we talked earlier in the Saturday Nooner, we're, we're working on a lot of new stuff for this channel to make this process more streamlined and more fun. We have a lot of ideas, so all that will be coming towards the end of this month, towards the end of August. And it is hard to believe that it's already August. It's August 1st, guys. Yay! You know what that means. Only in Disney, on the Disney calendar, it's only like three days till Halloween. <laughs> It'll be Halloween like three days here at Disney. We'll definitely be checking out Halloween merchandise and so forth. So Disney holidays will be starting before you know it. The holidays at Disney get started right away. It's crazy. Absolutely hard to. I remember like the first time I ever went to a Mickey's not so scary Halloween party in the middle of August. And I just remember thinking like this is, I think it was the first year that actually me and Susanna moved to Orlando. So we wanted to be there opening night, but we weren't prepared for how hot it was going to be. Oh my gosh. And, you know, you want to wear some type of costume for Halloween or whatever, so. But, yeah, middle of August, Halloween arrives at Disney. And, of course, a few weeks later, we'll be over at Universal for Halloween Horror Nights. We will be going over to Universal as well. I know some people have requested they want us to do some shopping at Universal, which is 100% coming, possibly even as soon as this week. So, that's why, like I said, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. Join the Facebook group as well. I will send notifications via YouTube as well for when we go live. But yeah, we're going to be heading on over to um, Universal very, very soon. If you guys aren't familiar, they have two brand new, yeah, I still call them brand new, brand new gift shops. They've only been open for a few months here. So, and I want to go check out to the prep for Halloween Horror Nights. I keep seeing online in another uh, Disney and I guess it's just a Universal YouTubers vlogs with all of the, uh, the preparations for Horror Nights going on. So. And of course, that's a whole different style of merchandise, which we will pick up. I'm not quite sure if, how interested you guys are in that type of uh, Halloween merchandise, but you never know. Some of you guys might be. Actually, you know what? If you're here still to this point, comment down below. Like, yes, I like Halloween Hornets merchandise too. Let's see what we can do here. Up this way. Up. There we go. Wow. <laughs> guys. Whew, it's a hot one now. It's warm. I'm about to drink like three gallons of water. But either way, we just finished up walking around Animal Kingdom. We checked out a lot of merchandise. It was a lot of fun. Thank you for everyone to shop with us today. Um, uh, what did I want to say? Yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Did you enjoy it? Um, sales at mousesecrets.com for any invoices and so forth. And I'm trying to think what else. I think that's it. I think I've talked enough. So, guys, have a good one. We'll see you guys Tuesday evening. Thank you so much for sticking it out. We're working on the technology stuff. We had the snafu again at the beginning, but I hopefully things got better throughout the video. So, have a good one, guys. Take care. As always, we'll see you all next time. Bye. Oh, I have to move this over. And we'll say goodbye in one second.